One of my favorite topics, I'm going to talk about spectral denoise and using it for sonic shape-shifting. I can use spectral denoise to strip out frequencies and apply it to other material. The results from using this type of technique can be quite varied and produce some very unusual creative material. I've got several documents lined up to work with. I'll start by playing back the first one. Kind of a reiterated voicey pad. And I'll go in and just start notching out some frequencies like I've done before. By holding down the shift modifier, I'll add to my selection. And I'm going to do this in broad strokes as I really want it to be obvious. Play back the selected frequencies. If I was to just strip these out and silence them, it will sound dramatically different. The idea isn't necessarily to get rid of those frequencies, but to reduce them using the noise reduction. I'll hit the Learn button, and that will learn just my selected frequencies. Visually, these will be updated in the spectral denoise display. I'll work with the highest quality default settings to start. I'll hit Preview. And increase the reduction. Also the difference between the artifact control, musical noise, and gating. I'll hit process to write those changes. And as the spectrogram updates, I can see that it hasn't completely removed those frequencies, but has just reduced them applying the spectral denoise. I'll skip ahead to another example. Let's take a listen. Up to now, I've just been kind of drawing in like straight frequency selections, but this time I'm going to go a bit crazy and become the artiste. And for that, I'll go to my toolbar and select my lasso tool. And just make a nice big wide stroke across these rising harmonics. I'll play that selected frequency. and hit the Learn button. I'll preview that by applying it to my whole selection. And I'll hit Bypass to show you the difference. To save on time, I went ahead and set up the last example. In this case, I'll go ahead and bypass my processing and hit Preview. And you can hear that the original material is kind of a very harmonic saw drone. If I bypass this and hit Preview, Spectral Denoise will process just those rising brush strokes. Cool cosmic sounds from way out. If I apply this to the entire selection and hit process or preview, I get another variation. And yet another variant would be hitting output noise only.
With RX's spectral denoise, a little material goes a long way.